Alright guys, I'm back with another battle video. This was from the March International Wi-Fi Tournament 2013. Who will survive? So I'm challenged by Jason ZZ Sun, so I imagine he sleeps all day, so it's Jason up all night. I send out my birdies, Star Raptor and Mandibuzz. He sends out his Dust Noir and his Bronzong, so he's definitely pull he's definitely going for a trick room right here, so I'm not gonna bother setting up any tailwinds. I figured him for Trick Room from the get-go when I saw his team. Like, there's no way he's not using Trick Room, and he was showing a Marowak, so I didn't use my Jolteon. Doesn't matter, but so I go for the U-turn against the Bronzong. Deal uh, a little less than 25%. Get Hitmontop out there. Get the second Intimidate off the battle, so both his Pokemon are at minus two. Assuming they're both physical, I don't see why the Dust Noir wouldn't be... Bronzong's kind of tricky, but I usually see them go physical. And I pull off the Toxic against the Dust Noir since he doesn't have an Eviolite. I just want to rack up that, that damage ASAP. Goes for a Shadow Punch at minus two. Doesn't really do much damage. And the Bronzong goes for a Trick Room. Ugh. Ugh. So I got to ride out this Trick Room. And one of the good ways to do riding out a Trick Room is like forcing switches. So the plan here is to take... Hit him on top out of there and replace him with Star Raptor to get the third Intimidate off to get both of his Pokemon at minus three. If I can get both of them to switch, it's kind of one turn I kind of dealt with Trick Room. You just got to ride out this Trick Room. Like it's really annoying when you're not, when you're not, when you just don't like Trick Room teams and you have to go against them. Kind of annoying. So he goes for a Gyro Ball at minus three. Does half damage, like about half damage. Well, and he lost some HP, so he's got that Life Orb. He's going for a Shady. Doesn't hit me with the Shadow Punch, but he's going for a Shady Gyro Ball. Wow, against my Scarf Star Raptor, too. Ugh. Super effective damage against the Death Noir with the Snarl. Just attacking their special attacks. Doesn't matter. I was just trying to attack both of them. Just deal a little damage, nickel and dime them. He's got the leftover, so he's going to be, like, getting a little bit back, but the Poison's going to take care of that. So I go for the hard switch right here. There's no way I'm switch. I'm waiting for a U-turn. I don't want to take any damage. So I get the Hitmon top out and get his Pokemon at minus four. So like he's definitely got a switch now. Like he's like, there's no way he can't. And then he sent up Stealth Rocks. I'm like, oh man, really Stealth Rocks? I got my two birds. All right, well Mandibuzz isn't going anywhere for sure. That for for sure now. He goes for a Fire Punch. Doesn't do doesn't do like Diddly Squat. To him on top, go for a snarl. Just I don't really do much damage, but I'm just slowly nickeling and diming this dude. That's the plan. And goes for a leftovers. And in case he didn't switch, I kind of had a fake out ready for the Bronzong because just didn't want him doing anything. I'm not worried about the Dust Noir. I thought he'd switch. I thought the chances of switching were pretty good, but. I don't know, I just, I decided to just go for the fake out, which kind of helped me out, actually. And he, he did the double switch, Marowak. So I went for the fake out against the Bronzong, but he switched it into his Slow King, and his Slow King uses the red card, and Hitmontop says, see you later, and Star Raptor says, come on, rocks, you ain't holding me down, and takes his little stealth rock down. But he comes out and gets the Intimidate off. And just, this right here is just, this isn't like a spot I'm going to keep him in, but we got to watch, there goes the Snarl. I think his plan was to try to get the Mandibuzz out, because he knew I was going to go for a Snarl, and he wanted to get Mandibuzz out so he could switch it back into rocks, but that didn't happen. His red card was foiled. So there goes the Snarl. Marowax at minus one attack. That guy, uh, Slow King's at minus one special attack. There was no way I was staying in here waiting for, uh, to, do, to, to, to pull off a... U-turn in a trick room, so I had to go for the hard switch on Star Raptor right there. Got Hitmon top out. Marowak's at minus two, which is really great for me. And here comes Slow King with a psychic. I'm like, he's at minus one. And I'm just thinking, stop. Okay, no, it's crit. Fuck. Oh man, damn it, crit. It's like, ugh. It's like, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. And here comes a Stone Edge. Super effective, doesn't do much damage, but I figured he'd attack me with like with his Marowak, so I went for a roost right here. I'm like, yep, oh yeah. You ain't hurting my Mandibuzz. You ain't hurting my Mandibuzz. 
And I'm not switching Star Raptor back in right now. And the Twisted Dimensions turn. And here comes my Heracross. Heracross. That's the boxer right there. He takes his Slow King out. He gets his Bronzong back in there. He's like, oh, his Heracross ain't going to do nothing to my Bronzong. Mega Horn. Bug Gem boosted. Here we go. Boom! Let's see how much damage that does. And that is enough to take out the Bronzong. One kill for the Boxer, plus one Moxie boost. Boom! That's, that's beautiful right there. Go for the Toxic against the Marowak. Yeah, you're Toxic. Now what you gonna do, Marowak? What you gonna do? Marowak goes for the Stone Edge. And I'm like, all right. I took it last time, and oh, crit, oh man, another crit, oh, dang it, there goes my Mandiba, it's like, that just, stuff like that just really makes me mad, but, oh, I'm poison damage, but it's all good, it's all good, here comes Star Raptor, Star Raptor's back, through the freaking rocks, well, you don't see the rock damage yet, but he says that was Dust Noir, but look, Star Raptor came in through the rocks, survived with 3 HP, pulls off an Intimidate. Not that it really matters. Well, minus 3 Marowak, minus 1 Dust Noir. I guess that's kind of cool. Star Raptor goes for the Brave Bird against the Dust Noir. And does he take it down? He does. Star Raptor takes it down. Kamikaze took himself out, but he did his job. He took out the Dust Noir. And here comes a plus one Heracross with close combat. Is that enough to take this fool down? Marowak goes down. Marowak is out. That's another kill for the Boxer. Plus two. Come on, Moxie boost. Moxie's coming up. Oh, there we go. Plus two. That's what I'm talking about, the Boxer. Ooh, late game sweeping. That's what I'm talking about. He sends out his Slow King, and it all comes down to whether or not my Mega, Mega Horn hits. It hits! There's no way this guy's surviving this attack. No way, and he goes down. Slow King fainted, and Heracross is a boss. That's the boxer right there. And that's how I defeated Jason up all night. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.